Labman is an engineering company based in the northeast of the UK and we build automated systems that go into laboratories all over the world. Customers have generally existing laboratory processes. They might be discovering new drugs or formulating new paint or coatings or shampoo or really anything, any product that you might buy in the shops and they use our robots to help them develop those. There's two parts where we're using 3D printing. We, we use a lot of it in the traditional sense, so at the beginning of a project where we want to give the customers a hands-on feel for what, um, what that part of a robot might be like, we'll use printing in that instance. But we'll also use it increasingly during the production as well, because we're in a, typically we're building one, two, three off of items. So it's a real opportunity to use 3D printing, and it, our designers love it because it frees up the frees up their kind of creativity. They don't need to think so much about how a, how a part might be manufactured. They can really kind of explore different ideas for the way parts are put together and, and the way parts work in a robot. So this would originally have been three or four different plates. Um, it would have been a spacing plate and some adapters to um, bolt in from different sides. Um, bolts into the axes, bolts into the gearbox. Uh, and also another little bracket here that would have held a home sensor. But what I managed to do is print that in two different parts. This saves us a lot of time, we don't have to assemble anything. Working with Materialize is great. Uh, sometimes if we need a part a day or two earlier, we can give them a ring and they can try and squeeze us in, or if there's you know, possibly a gap they didn't see before, um, they can get things to us faster than is quoted on the internet. There's also the projects team in Belgium that we work with quite often, uh, especially for larger projects. Um, the mini model we had made of um, one of our systems. That was a large part, you know, thousands of pounds, so we wanted to make sure it was right. We sent across the CAD files to the guys in Belgium and they inspected it all. They found any glitches, any voids that were in there that we didn't expect. And you know, they're on the phone, they're emailing us and saying, is this what you want? Do you want us to patch this up? And they got that done themselves and we got a product that was really great in the end. During the development cycle, um, we can quite quickly and easily give a customer exactly kind of the feel for what a part might be like. We even do small scale down models of our robots actually, and they love that because they use it for sales purposes internally and all sorts of things. But I think the, the main benefit is actually in production itself. So we're building things now that we could never even consider building before. We're building assemblies in one or two parts, where in the past it was 10 or 15 parts. So that means our assembly time's lower. Um, it means the quality and the perception, the, the way those parts feel in a robot look a lot better.